Okay, it's day six. This is usually the hardest day because you're feeling the effects of killing off all these parasites and getting all these, this debris out of the cells because what's happening inside the cells is organelles are changing. New lysosomes are being put in place, ribosomes. Definitely, any part inside the cell is broken, gets dissolved down and exocytosis brings it out of the cell into the extracellular matrix, into the lymphatic system, and into the gut. So you're gonna feel a little gut issues, okay? Because all this toxin is being dumped into the urinary tract and the gut. So you're gonna get some kind of queasy feelings through here. I do, everyone seems to. The big thing is, you're feeling the effects of killing off all these parasites and bacteria and fungus the previous day. And these are toxins that are now leaving the body and it's uncomfortable. You'll be fatigued like I am. If you're rinsing your mouth out and spitting it out, you're not gonna get the, the sticky mouth and all that stuff. So that's more convenient, more comfortable. And, uh, but today is just a day of sitting back and letting it all happen because you've done the work. Your body's done the work all by itself. I'm now beginning to think the more time you can stay in bed asleep or prone, probably the better, because sleeping is a form of fasting and you're healing while you're laying down. There may be some correlation. It's only speculation on my part, but I notice more good things happen if I do sleep more. So let your body guide you. you know, trust your body. It's going to guide you through this. And by day seven, by the end of this day, the energy will start picking up because I'm in the middle of my acidosic crisis where I've got all this stuff to get rid of. I'm just fixing all this stuff and it's going to be fixed next and I'm going to fall out of this back to normal. And you're going to end up feeling energy again. You're still going to have the ketones coming in. And then at the end of the next day, you'll be able to introduce the sodium bicarbonate water and the coconut water and the topo chica and all that stuff. It's great. So really, it's not a happy place, but it's not a sad place either because your body's taking care of all these problems. So my suggestion is to lay back and sleep. Read a good book. Hang in there. You're doing great. And I will talk to you tomorrow, which will be day seven. See you then.